Um, anyway, then, so we have Van Dorn on the right. It's Evans on the left. And let's see who's going to get a good start then. So, five lights. And it's go here in the feature race. And who's got a good start on the front row? Side by side action. Matt Van Dorn's got a good start. But look at Harry Anto. He's even got a better one. He's moved up into second place. Can he even take the lead off Van Dorn? He's looking to the inside. Can Harry Anto take the lead in the first corner? I think he's just done it. Yes, he has. Harry Anto takes the lead into turn one. Is there any contact down into turn one? And so. Oh, no. No, there isn't. We've got a big crash in the back. There it is, we got a big crash. And who is that? That is, that is, uh, we had Stevens and Marcello. Marcello has got involved in a big crash. Indeed, so what happened? Let's have a look then at what happened. We ran a board with him, and he's so damn lucky he didn't even roll the car off. It just looked like that Stevens just took him out. So we have a big crash here, and it's Marcello who is out of the race. Let's have a look at it again. We can look from here, and it just looked like that Stevens just turned into him. Violently, so this has to be investigated for sure. And Marcello is out of the race, so a big retirement already in this race. He's and a huge crash indeed. Just one more look at it, then, and there he goes flying into the air. So lucky he didn't barrel roll the car. And uh, well, that's that then. So Marcello, you know, out of the race, and uh, well, that's that. So as we look to the front of the field, it's Harry Anto who's got an enormous lead, just managing to keep it on the track. Into turn one, Rossi's up to second. Van Dorn's not had a good start either. He's been passed by Rossi and Rosia. As we now head into the chicane, Leclerc getting up into ninth position. Looks like everybody's getting around the chicane perfectly. And uh, that's that then, really. So Harry Anto with an enormous lead at the front of the field with Rossi in second place. And Van Dorn all over the back of Rosia in third position. Van Dorn will want to try and get that position back as best as he can. Tucking up into Razir's slipstream. He's looking to the inside into Ascari. And there's more battling behind. Can Van Dorn get the job done? Danny inside. Has Van Dorn been able to do it? Danny inside. Then he moves back up into third position. As it looks like both New Garden and Ray Hall have got past Lynn. So Lynn's not had a very good start either. And uh, oh, there's a bit of contact again. Daniel left and Demo Simona Di Savastro have made contact. But luckily, the pair of them are still able to keep going. That will probably have to be investigated for sure. Let's have a look at the replay of that for sure then. So, there it is. Ryan on board with Apt. He looks like he's going to the corner. And he just looks like he's just overcooked it. And, well, maybe that will have to be investigated as well for sure. As Apt has pushed Simona off the track. And uh, that's that. So... Gasly in 20th as uh, Stevens looking to the outside to try and find some way back past. But meantime, we are ending lap one here of the race. And as you can see, Harry Anto leads and he set the fastest lap of the race. Rossi's in second place as Razier looking back to the inside of Andor for third position. Side by side action to go. The two SG Motorsports are side by side as they now hit into the first chicane. Into the first game we go, then Randon and Harry and, and Rizia side by side. And I think Randon manages to hold the position there. And Ray Hall moves up to fifth at the expense of New Garden. So Ray Hall moves up another position. And, and uh, is there any more going into the chicane? As now, look at this. The two GRM juniors getting into combat. Yeah, Lee just holding off Simona in the end there. Fabio Lima just holding off. Even with a little bit of using a lot of curve there. Just managing to hold off Gasly. And that's compromised his entrance into the second part of that chicane. And uh, as uh, Van Dorn keeping hold of that position for now. As uh, we now head into the chicane. Ab down the inside. And he's overdone it. He's overcooked it into the chicane. And Master Shifter keeps 14th for the time being. Meantime, Gasly defending the inside of Stevens. Stevens trying his best to make a comeback at the moment. And uh, what's happened? What? Have I, have I missed something? Oh, no. Never mind. That's just me. Forget me. As now, look at this. Lane going down to the inside of New Garden. Into the Ascari chicane. But he thinks better of it. Looking to the right again. Not quite. And now they've brought Magnussen into play through there. And uh, signs. Through the Scarvish again we own. And now look at this gaggle of cars. I'm sure this is probably going to end in carnage. As now look at this. Oh my god. They've hit each other again. No it isn't. It's Yelly this time that's hit each other. And uh, Daniel Apt and Nick Yelly have hit each other with Ashley Kane. And uh, Apt's going to get into serious trouble. Because that's the second GOM he's hit off. Uh, 
not cleanly I should say, as now Palmer looking to the inside of Simona Di Silvestro into the Parabolica and Passi goes as Rossi sets the fastest lap of the race into the chicane we go and uh, meantime Rosier has got to keep an eye on Ray Hall and is Rossi actually catching up to Harry Anto? That is a question. As Magnussen has passed Lynn and he's moved up into 7th position but is Lynn going to try and find a way back pass into the chicane? Let's see. As, uh, as now approaching as defensive as it go, Lynn, can he get him back? Yes, he can. Get seventh back off Magnus and a lot of overtaking being Don Giotto. Shouldn't have done that, mate, because it was always going to come right here. There's more contact. Signs has been took off. That's going to have to be investigated for sure. There's lots of carnage in this GP2 race. It was fully expected, really, uh, considering the nature of this track. And uh, while well, Signs having a little bit of trouble trying to get back on the road. And now he's lost a bit of his front wing. It's poured him into the into the barrier. And well, he's going to have to make a trip to the pits. Indeed, there. Um, Ollie's saying that the Alitalia cut the corner. Uh, Harry Anto. So maybe we will have to have a look at that at the end of that race. Uh, meantime, Rossi. Let's see what the gap is like between himself and Harry Anto right now. Then as they head towards the first corner. The pair of them head for turn one. Let's see what the gap is as they head to turn one. And the gap is 1.7 seconds between Harry Anto and Rossi. So we'll keep an eye on that gap on the next lap. Harry Anto still leading the race. Maybe his position is under threat. As Nugon's got back in front of Ray Hall. So suddenly behind the cameras. He's got back in front of Magnussen's lost a position to the clerks. And Magnussen's going backwards all of a sudden. As Giotto. Ooh, was that a corner? Was that a position gained? I'm not sure. It might have been. That might have been, and it just all depends on whether he, he got the position before the corner. We'll have to wait and see on that. We have to remember as well, of course, that if the person got ahead before the corner, it does count. Um, and he did get ahead before the corner, so whether that's fair or not, we have to wait and see. But uh, meantime, side-by-side -side action again. Looks like, is that Lime over? And there goes Steve, and he gets past... Stevens gets passed by Lima up into 17th. He goes. Signs cut trailing back into the pits without a front wing. And uh, New Garden then. All over the back of Louis Rozier. As Signs confirmation he's in the pits. And he might just have to do a two stop at this rate. Just. Uh, as now Danny inside. Goes New Garden. Can he get fourth? Off the Brazilian. Danny inside into Iscari. Can he get the job done? Yes, he can. New Garden moves up into fourth position. But is Rosier ready to pounce again? And it looks like he's dropping back just a bit. Or is he? Maybe he's tucking back up into the slipstream of Joseph New Garden for fourth position. He's looking to the inside. And let's see. Danny inside goes Rosier. And through back to fourth. Goes Rosier, but he's New Garden picking up a way back pass down into the first chicane. Let's see. New Garden took it back into Rosier's slipstream. Now looking to the outside on the track. Does he have the straight line speed compared to him? Is he able to outdrag him down the straight? Side by side go Rosier and New Garden. Side by side to go. I think Rosier's done enough to keep the position, and he has. Rosier keeps hold of fourth. Now New Garden's back into his clutches of his own teammate. Right now, as Evans goes down, he is at a daily up into 10th position. And uh, Magnussen trying his best to get back onto this group right now. And the two SG Motorsports all over the back of Louis Rosier right now. Is he trying to look to the inside? Rosier defends, and rightfully so, keeping all the fourth into the chicane. And, uh, well, that's that. As the uh, looks like the pack slowly but surely and probably starting to spread out as it looks like signs is about to be lapped and Rossi is catching up to Harianto and as is Van Dorn. So Van Dorn's also catching up as well. So we just gotta keep an eye on what's going on there as they now head for the Ascari Chicane. And uh Anyway, there's Harry Anto coming around. 
uh, Parabolica. And uh, they're trying their best to lap signs at the moment as Razia still trying to hold off the two SG Motorsports cars, Lynn and Leclerc. This is becoming an almighty scrap for fourth. New Garden looking again at Razia for fourth position. Side by side to go. And uh, this has been some close racing indeed, side by side. Can New Garden get the job done? As Razia still done enough to hold off fourth position, side by side to go. Danny to the chicane, and Razia holds off to fourth for now. Look at this group of cars right now. This is so incredible right now. And, uh, and all being held up by Razia. Razia is holding up a little bit of a train right now of... Look at this, a pack of five cars for the battle for fourth right now. This is insane. New Garden again, looking to the outside. The clerk looking to the outside of Lynn. Lynn defends. Ray Hall trying to defend Lynn. Lynn looking to the inside of Ray Hall. And he moves up into sixth position. Lynn moves up into sixth. And now Ray Hall's got to look at Leclerc and Magnus is getting involved into this fight as well. New Garden still not able to find a way past Razia right now. And in the meantime, look at the three leaders right now, close into combat. This might be a battle we might have to keep an eye on as well. So it does look like we have a battle for the lead at this rate. Tucking up into the slipstream we go. As now. Oh, Razia keeping at bay. Defending the inside. There goes New Garden. Looking to the inside. Is he able to do it this time? They've both gone off. They've both forced each other into a mistake. And now Razia's race has been ruined. Not his fault at all. Nobody's fault in that. Just a simple, just pure racing that was. And, uh, well, Razier's going to have to do all that hard work again that he built up in qualifying. And, well, it's all come to nothing. Nobody's fault. Just, a, just the pair of them just pushing each other to the limit. And it's just ended up going off at the Ascari chicane. Razier rejoins in 20th position not last because Carlos Sainz Jr. is in last meanwhile the and look at this three abreast it was down into the pit straight it was three abreast Leclerc gets past Lynn and now he's side by side with Newgarden for fourth position Lynn getting back to the inside of Leclerc and just taking fifth there just managing to avoid contact with Newgarden there side by side go Magnussen and Daly look at this all four of them managing to get around the chicane perfectly Massachusetts Giotto Daly and Magnussen Magnussen still holding on to that final point he's struggling in this race team is in the pits he's lost his front way do we have a replay of what happened no we don't so Stevens has now lost his front wing and he's now had to make a trip to the pit so that's that then, really. And uh, look, Razia's now out. Razia's out of the race. What's happened to him? Um, and oh, there was a crash between Ray Hall and Razia. So no wonder we couldn't find them. Both of them out of the race. Incredible. What happened? Did they both crash into each other or something? We need to keep an eye of what happened. And uh, we need to have a look, really. Let's have a look. Uh, no, we just cut on to it. So I have no idea what happened. So. Has he been taken out? Magnuson. So Ray Hall and Razia are out of the race thanks to a crash. So whosoever fault it was, I have no idea. But whatever the case, they're both out the points now. And we're now down to eight, 19 runners in the race. And I think Stevens might have got involved in that because he's lost his front wing. So Stevens might have had a part in that. Madison's not been took out. He's still in eighth. I don't know what you're talking about. Did he get taken out? Is that why he's probably down to eighth? Is that what you're saying? Anyway. Looks like the top three still not getting up to that piece of traffic that's in front of them. New Garden then. Down as confirmation there, Ray Hall's out of the race, so New Garden's the only SG Motorsport in the race. Lynn's gonna have to look at his mirrors of Leclerc defending the inside, and rightfully so. Lynn keeping fifth for now. Confirmation that Stevens is in the pits. He probably has to do a two stop uh, as well. Um, but yeah, Stevens now comes out of his box and he rejoins in 18th position. So that's that. Harry Anto still leads, but he will be investigated for sure. Um, I'll have to look back at that then, Ollie, because I didn't see him get taken out. Uh, 
Anyway, so... Oh, yeah, and today just going around the right-hander. It's through the chicane goes Harry Anto. And, uh, yeah, so confirmation we're down to 19 runners. It looks like Sainz is pulling away from the leaders. Probably wants to finish on the same lap as everyone as the clerk moves up into fifth. So, was it done down at the chicane? No, it was done at the first chicane. So, I think we just cut away from it. But Leclerc has moved up into fifth position and now he sets his targets on Joseph Newgarden right now. So Leclerc in his form in this race right now after a disappointing qualifying. So Leclerc finding his form today, which is good for him. Indeed, he wants to get back to what he did in, um, in France. And it's 1.9 seconds, so that's that. As Lynn Pitt, so he's the first of the leaders to pit on lap 14 of 32. I forgot to predict when we were supposed to pit, so I say pit stops are going to be now around about lap 14 to maybe 19. We should be expecting people to pit now, so... 11.1 second stop then from the Willows Grand Prix Mechanics. A good stop from them. Indeed, we should be expecting, I think, uh, Yerley to be pitting this lap. Anyone else pitting this lap? Uh, we're expecting Evans to pit this lap. Leclerc to pit this lap. Van Dorn's pitting this lap. Uh, but the Alitalia guys are not ready at the moment. So... Let's see. So now around the Ascari Chicane. As we now approach the power bullocka. As now into the pits comes Stoffel Van Dorn. As now Van Dorn waiting as he's being held up. He did a 10.7 second stop, but he's being held up as the clerk now pits. Evans is also in the pits as Van Dorn's still out in front, but that might have cost him time in terms of the gap between himself and Rossi and Harry Anto. Leclerc finishes his pit stop as is Mitch Evans. Evans is out on track now. Yelly now pits from 15th. Also, guys, if you didn't notice, I did post the San Marino highlights for GP2. Uh, I do worth you go and have a look at them. I don't know whether people's sub boxes keep breaking because they're not getting the views as they were at the beginning of the season. So I don't know whether if people's sub boxes are broken or not. But uh, I have uploaded them. I did two uploads in a row. And uh, we should be expecting Joseph Newgarden to pit this lap. He's currently in third. Seems to be in a mini battle with... Charles Leclerc, we'll just have to wait and see what their in-out laps are, both of them. And whether Leclerc, I don't think Leclerc will have leapfrogged him, but we'll see if Leclerc has actually caught the gap to New Garden. As now New Garden approaches the Parabolica. And uh, let's see then, so around the Parabolica, as he now darts into the pits. New Garden pits then from third position. And uh, let's see. So let's see how quick the stop is going to be for SG Motorsport. Looks like Steelers are ready for a pit stop. That will be for Nova Hara Mashita. Well, is this going to hold up New Garden? That's the question. He had a little bit because Mashita was coming in. Where's Leclerc? Leclerc is way further down. So New Garden will just be out in front. There goes App, there goes Van Dorn, there goes Gasly, who's still at the pit. 
New Garden comes out. Where's he going to rejoin? Rejoins in 10th position. Just in front of Leclerc. Leclerc looks like he's gained just a little bit. But not as much as he would have anticipated. As Lynn looks like he's dropped back from Leclerc. And now won't ha he won't have to worry about um, Di Silvestro. Because Di Silvestro is yet to pit. Rossi will be pitting this lap though. Question is, will Harry Hunter be pitting? And the answer to that is no. Harry Hunter will be sticking it out for maybe a couple more laps. But we'll see. As now Rossi approaches the Parabolica. Round the corner he goes. Into the pits there and it comes Alexander Rossi. And uh, we'll see. Let's see how quick the stop's going to be. Let's fix motorsports, guys. I think we're ready for a pit stop as well. It's Magnuson pits. Let's see where he's going to feed into this race. Uh, Mitch Evans at the moment is currently being held up by Simona Di Silvestri. I don't know whether he got past him on track the last time we checked, but uh, a 10.2 second stop then from the. Etihad Mechanics, a good stop from them. Let's see where he's going to rejoin then. Where's Mitch Evans? There, Evans is 14th. He's being held up an absolute treat. Magnussen might just be able to do it. He might have just leapfrogged Evans. Let's see. He lends in front. Di Silvestro and Magnussen's in front of Evans. Evans has been held up by Di Silvestro. And he's still struggling to find a way past her. So Magnussen has been able to leapfrog Mitch Evans and has moved up a position. And, uh, well, that's that then. Rossi's still out in front of Van Dorn then, so nothing's changed there. Harry Anto looks like he's not going to be pitting this lap either. Palmer, though, will be pitting this lap. And he's got Alexander Rossi behind at the moment. As he, they both head for the back straight, which will now head them into the Iskari chicane and uh, through we go then and uh, as we can see there Giotto I think that is has put a lap trying his best to put a lap on uh, Palmer's teammate Carlos Sainz Jr as now we should expect Palmer to peel in, and there he goes. Palmer pits from third. So let's see how quick the stop is going to be for him then. He's pulling into his box. Let's see how quick it's going to be then. And it is a 10.2 second stop, so a good stop for the Netflix Motorsport Mechanics. Let's see where this is going to put Palmer in. And... Palmer rejoins out of his box and he rejoins out of the pits and he rejoins 16th. Harrianto still not pitting so maybe hanging around for one or two more laps. We'll have to wait and see. Doesn't want to hold it on for too long because Rossi looks to be on a charge. As uh, Gasly and Lima look to be in a little bit of a fight at the moment for fifth position. New Garden and Leclerc have got closer to this. And as a result, Leclerc is all over now on the back of uh, Joseph New Garden. As they now head for Parabolica. As now look at that Gasly in front. Looking to the inside of Lima. Can he get the job done into Iskari? And no, he hasn't. He stays where he is. The clouds look to have covered just a little bit. So we've got a bit of cloud cover. Looks like the sun has faded just a little bit it, behind the clouds. But it should pop back up pretty soon. We aren't expecting a wet race, of course. As now New Garden now looking to the inside of Gasly. Probably wants to dispose of him pretty quickly down the inside. And New Garden moves up into sixth position. So he puts a little bit of breathing space between himself put up an obstacle between himself and the clerk as Lima and Lynn and Gasly pull into the pit so it was only temporary and it, but he has pulled a bit of a gap now on the Monaco driver as Lima and Gasly are in the pits let's see how quick their stops are going to be let's 
see how quick Gasly's pit stop is going to be. And so one of Yorkshire cars is in. Lima's still out in front of Gasly. And it's Daniel Lapp who pitted. Daniel Lapp just rejoins him, joins behind Gasly. Di Savestro in the pits. And let's see what she can do. And she just rejoins out of her box. Anyone else coming into the pits? And Harry Anto's pitting. The race leader, Rio Harry Anto, pits. So the race leader is in the pits. Let's see then. So, it's a 9.2 second stop. A very quick stop from Ali Talia. As Lynn's out. Alex Lynn is out of the race. What's happened to Lynn? And oh, he crashed. Lynn crashed. He, he's crashed down at Lesmo 2. What's happened? Did he have a brake failure? And... Uh, there we go then, so, let's have a look. So he comes into last mode 2, and it just looks like he's got brake failure. He couldn't stop the car. And now Lynn has crashed out of the race, and that's his championship over and done with. So Lynn, out of championship contention. And Lynn, wow, well, what can you say? That's that. That's how he enters his finishes pit stop. Where is Rossi? Rossi's still got a bit to go, so I think Harry Anto's done enough to keep the lead. Let's see. He's still trundling down the pits. And Harry Anto still rejoins in the lead. But Rossi's not far back. Rossi looks like he's closed up a little bit in the pits. So Rossi's going to have to do the business on track if he wants to win this race. And uh, Harry Anto still rejoins in the lead. So he, the position for him hasn't changed. Giotto still needs to pit. And he'll be pitting this lap. So he'll hand third back to Stoffel Van Dorn. As Charles Leclerc at the moment dropped, has now dropped back a bit from Joseph Newgarden. And uh, he's got to be careful that Kevin Magnussen doesn't catch up to him. Kevin's now behind him as a result of Leapfrog and Mitch Evans in the pit. And uh, Daly, Masashita and Mitch Evans... Mitch Evans well behind. And he even got undercut by Daly and Massachusetts. That's how bad the holdup was from Di Silvestro. So he's probably kicking himself in the cockpit right now. Meantime, we look at the leaders. Harry Anto and Rossi. And uh, as Giotto will be pitting this lap, the man who's currently third at the moment. And... As now approaching Parabolica. And we should be seeing in the background. Uh, Giotto peel into the pits. There he goes. We've actually cut onto him. So that gives Van Dorn third place back. Into the pits then comes Giotto. He now pulls into his box. And uh, let's see then. And it's a 10 second stop for the Fantaya Racing Mechanics. A good stop from them. Where's he's going to put Giotto then? He's just trundling down the pit lane. And Giotto rejoins in 11th. So that's that. Giotto rejoins in 11th. Round Parabolica. And now Harry Anto coming across the line. And Harry Anto for now wins the feature race here in Monza. Congratulations to him and the Alitalia Junior team. Rossi crosses the line second. Might be the win if... You know, something bad happens to Arianto. Van Dorn finishes third. New Garden crossing the line in fourth position. Leclerc finishes in fifth. Magnussen finishes in sixth. Daly. Coming across the line. 
and he finishes fi finishes seventh. Matthew Schitter picks up the final point in eighth. Evans crosses the line ninth. Jolene Palmer crosses the line tenth. Giotto crosses the line eleventh. Yellowly crosses is going to cross the line in twelfth position. We know that Sainz crossed the line in nineteenth. Talk for Yelly, 13 for Lima, Gasly 14th, Daniel Apt is going to cross the line in 15th position. A good result for him indeed, an okay result I should say for him. Di Silvestro coming around the Parabolica, she's going to cross the line in 16th position. And uh, across the line she goes. Stevens will just have to finish his lap, he's just coming around Parabolica. And Stevens is going to cross the line in 17th position. And across the line he comes. Stevens crosses the line in 8th, 17th. But for now, the winner is Rio Harianto, unless turn 1 is something. So, that's that then. So, after all of that, here is the race results then. So, here we go then. Race results. Rio Harianto won the race with Alexander Rossi in second. Stoffel Van Dorn third. Joseph Newgarden fourth. Charles Leclerc fifth. Kevin Madison finished in sixth with Connor Daly in seventh. And then it is Nobuhara Matsushita who finished eighth. And then it is Mitch Evans finishing ninth. Jolene Palmer tenth with Luca Giotto in eleventh position at the end. And then it is Nick Yallery in 12th with uh, Fabio Lima 13th. And then it is Pierre Gasly in 14th. And then we scroll all the way down. It's Daniel Apt in 15th with uh, Simone Di Silvestro 16th, Will Steven 17th, and Carlos Sainz Jr. lap down in 18th. The four retirements were Alex Lynn. Lou Rozier, Graham Rahal and Raffaele Marcello. And it was Alexander Rossi. So Rossi set the fastest lap with a 1 minute 30.576. Only two hundredths faster than Stoffel Van Dorn. And then one tenth faster than the so far winner, Rio Harianto. <laughs> And it's go here in in Monza, and it's a good start for for Mitch Evans. He's going down to the inside. It's side by side. Go, man, go, Van Dorn and Evans down to turn one. I think Evans has just gone in front. And meantime, Rossi looking to the inside. Down the inside, he's overcooked. He just no, he's just managed to keep it on this time. Unlike unlike Hayato yesterday, just managed to keep it in the lines. And Rossi leads. Evans second, Van Dorn third. Let's see if there was any carnage down into turn one. I wouldn't be surprised. 
And this time, no, everyone's got through the first corner safely. Good on you, fellas. Rossi leads with with his team teammate, I think. His teammate having to take a look at how much Rossi's pulled away. Band on third with Linford, Magnus in fifth, Gazzy sixth. So Gazzy rounding out the points at the moment. Leclerc gets down the inside, the signs into the chicane. Leron's got through the first chicane, the second chicane, I should say. Perfectly all right, or the third chicane, whichever one you want to call it. Meanwhile then, Rossi leads from Evans in second place. And now we head down the straight towards the Ascari chicane. This is going to be very interesting indeed. Through the Ascari chicane. And now down the straight he goes then. Is Evans actually catching him up? We'll have to wait and see on that. Is he yellow flag down at down at Ascari chicane? What's going on? Like, that's, a, that's an Otiad. That's Van Dorn! Van Dorn's been taken out by someone! Who? Oh, it was Lin! Lin took him out! That will have to be investigated for sure! My oh my! And they will have to ride on board and they are somebody retired actually. I don't know who that was. There we go. And I, I couldn't tell whose fault that was. I just saw that briefly there. We'll have to look back in a bit. It said somebody retired. I'm not sure. Oh, on the top of my screen, and Ray Hall's out. It's Ray Hall who's out of the race. We'll have to look what happened to him. And uh, it's hard to say, really, here about that incident. And it does look like the same as what happened between Apt and Di Silvestro the other day. Okay, so I'd say that's just plain racing, I guess. But then again, you could argue that Lynn turned right into the side of him. So we'll have to investigate. No, it looks like he's lost the wheel, actually. Vandal's also with I wonder if he had something to do with Ray Hall. Let's have a look. So nothing to do with him there. Let's have a look. And it was Ray Hall. Ray Hall collected him. So both Ray Hall and Vandal are out of the race. That's going to blow Vandal's championship. My oh my, that incident's going to have to be investigated for sure. That is not Ray Hall's fault. That is something Lynn's got to be aware of. That is going to be investigated for Lynn for sure. As Magnus is side by side with Gazzy as well. Of all the contact, but Gasly, in fact, Gasly's just passed him on the track. Meantime, Evans is catching up to his own teammate right now of Alexander Rossi. He right now. So, Ryan Rossi set the fastest level of the race, and Evans hasn't. And what's the gap between these two then? The two Mario Jones racing cars as they go down into turn one. It's a 16 lap race, by the way, as in our head for turn one. And it's 1.9 seconds. And, uh, wow. As now Magnussen's got back in front of Gasly for fourth position. He's got back in front and now he wants to get the man who took out Van Dorn, Alex Lynn. And now I bet Kevin's a little bit angry with him at the moment for taking out his own teammate. And uh, meantime, and uh, the, the microphone's up to full blast, Cameron. It's up to full blast. And... Uh, As Magnussen's all over the backside of Kevin Magnussen right now. As they now head down. No, not Ke Kevin Magnussen's all over the back of Alex Lynn. What am I saying? Speaking Chinese all of a sudden. As they now head down to the Sky Chicane. By the way, that incident between Lynn, Ray Hall and Van Dorn will be investigated after the race for sure. I bet Lynn's going to get a hefty punishment for that. That as well, because it did look like it wasn't like at as I looked it second time around. It didn't look like well as Giotto's out now then. So Giotto's out of the race, he got disqualified yesterday, and now his weekend's gone from bad to worse. What's happened to him? And oh he's beached it! He's beached it down at the chicane. So I wonder what happened to Giotto. He's beached it down at the chicane. And now we're already down to 19 runners. What happened then? We've cut to him, and it looks like we've cut on too late. So whoever took him out, we haven't got a clue. Unless he he just went off the track himself. So, either way, Giotto's beached it, and he's now out of the sprint race. So now down to 19 runners. Meanwhile, Magnussen back on the prowl of his own teammate. Oh, sorry, of Alex Lynn right now. Why am I still saying that's his own teammate in front? I have no idea. But anyway... Magnussen all over the back of Lynn as Rossi sets another fastest lap. Now Evans is taking the fastest lap of the race. What's the gap between the two Mario Giants racing cars as now as they both head for the chicane? As now Magnussen sets the fastest lap of the race. 
What's the gap? 1.9 again. So they kept the gap the same. Magnussen all over the backside of Lynn right now. As they now both head. Has come out of the chicane and go. I wonder if Magnussen is going to try and get a run on him. Down into the chicane. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, meantime. As they now head for the chicane. Through the chicane we go then. And he wasn't all over him just yet. That looks a little bit closer from the naked eye, of course. But uh, Harry Hunter is making a good comeback at the moment. He's into seven, but he's having to defend Marcello, who's going down to the inside. And he's actually got a problem. Harry Hunter's got an electrical problem. Harry Hunter's got a problem. So the winner of yesterday has an electrical problem. Question is, will he come back to the pits to get that repaired? That is the big question. Everybody's overtaking him right now. And Harry Anto has an electrical pole. His back makes it off. I wonder what happened there. Did he overcook it down into the Escar chicane? Let's see. So he's tucked up onto the back of, of Lynn. Let's see what happens. He tucks into the back of the Scott. He looks to the inside. Ga Lynn DeFort defending him. Heading for the, sh for the Escar chicane. He just looks like he just overcooked it into the corner. And that... And now Magnus has got to work hard yet again. And now Gasly's all over his backside. So uh, that's that then really. As now Stevens is down. As they're all over Harry Anza. Because Harry Anza has got that problem right now. He's doing a good job. But a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of contact between Lyman and Stevens. As he for the chicane. But luckily the pair of them did not go off. That's a good thing to see. It's actually Wazir who's going backwards. So where about his, uh, where about his uh, Harry Anza in all of this? He's still going backwards at the moment. And I wonder if he's going to come into the pits. That's the big question. As they come round the parabolica. And he's coming into the pits to get it fixed. So he's going to have to make another comeback. And it's even broken his... His electrics in the car as well. They're on his steering wheel. Meantime... Madison's got to worry about Gasly behind after that mistake, and even Newgarden as well. So Gasly's all over the backside of Magnussen right now as he looks to the outside and uh, defending the inside there, and that's that. Through the chicane. So the pole sitter, Stoffel Van Dorn, out of the race along with Graham Rahal. And uh, as Sainz, oh, cutting the corner just a little bit. Luckily, he gave the position back to Daly now, Matashita. Looks like he overcooked it trying to get past Daly. As now Master Shetter goes down the inside and through past Sainz into 11th place. Just one place outside the top 10 then as he goes. Leclerc currently in 8th. As now Gasly looks to the inside and Magnussen. He's shoving him a little bit. He defends the inside. Gasly looking back to the outside and Magnussen. Well, defending the line there as you go. And now through the Scottish chicane. In now. Gasly wants to try and get him down into the parabolica. He's looking to the inside. Can he, does he have the straight to do it? Let's see. Down inside goes Gasly. And Gasly takes fourth off Magnussen. And Magnussen can't get caught up in these two Willows Grand Prix cars. Cars right now. Oh, because he knows he's going to lose time. If that's the case, is now. Side by side go Magnussen and Gasly. Side by side they go. And it looks like Magnussen's taking fourth back off Gasly. And he has. Magnussen retakes fourth off him. And it's clear he does not want to get stuck behind the Frenchman for too long. And because he knows his nearest rival, Alexander Rossi, is out in front at the moment. And in fact, he's two rivals at the moment. And Evans as well, who's trying his best to catch up to his own teammate right now for the lead of this race. As they now head for the chicane. And... Uh, through the go then. He tucks out into the stream. He's looking to the inside. Right, and he's going to try his best. But Marcello defended the line beautifully. Positioning his car perfectly compared to Charles Leclerc. Leclerc will probably want to try and get him down into the power bollocker. Tucking up into Marcello's slipstream. Let's see. He ducks to the right. Looking to the inside of the track. Is Leclerc going to get him down to the inside? And he takes seventh off Marcello. But is Marcello thinking of getting him back? Down the pit straight. We've seen this in the previous two days. It might be a thing again. Marcello took him back onto the slip stream of Leclerc. He's looking to the outside. Side by side go Marcello and Leclerc. 
Side by side they go, but I think Leclerc's probably defending it into the first corner, and he has. Leclerc keeps um, his Marcello finger to trying to find a way past down into the, the third chicane. Let's see. They go through the chicane, both of them. And let's see what happens. Then so through the right hand, there goes Leclerc. Can, Mar can he hold off Marcello? Marcello's looking all over his backside right now. Is Leclerc defending the inside? He's defending the inside. Marcello now going to the inside. Don't outbreak yourself, Marcello. It's happened. Marcello's outbreaked himself. Oh, so close. Thank God he let the position back. And now look at that. Sides is all over. Dan Palmer actually down the inside of Marcello and takes eight. So that's the second time somebody's outbreaked themselves down into that corner. Meantime, Magnuson trying his best to get on terms with Lane. Down the back straight now as they now head for the Iskari chicane. Danny inside, can Newgarden get the position? Gasly's not even thinking of defending. Danny inside goes Newgarden. And he's overcooked it. He's going to have to work hard again. He's got to be careful the clerk doesn't get close to him. But luckily for him, he doesn't. And he hasn't lost too much time to Gasly. So he can get back on the prow of the Frenchman. In fact, you could say two... He's in a, like a Frenchman sandwich, except the clerk is actually from Monaco, not France. And Monaco, even though it is in France, it's classed as its own country. So you can't say he's in a, in a French sandwich right now. So can Magnussen get Lynn? Let's see. He doesn't seem to be close enough on this lap. Lynn even felt the need to defend into the Iskari chicane. As they now go through it. Tucking up onto the back of Lynn. Can he get the job done? Let's see. Can he get him down into Parabolica? He's looking to the inside. Side by side to go. Lin shoving him just a little bit. And he had to back out of that one. I'm not surprised if Madison didn't do a hand gesture in the cockpit there. Um, as Rossi's in. Why is Rossi's in? Rossi's got an electrical problem. What a twist. Rossi's got an electrical problem. That's going to help Madison. Oh, my. Rossi's got an electrical problem, and it's handed the lead to Mitch Evans. Oh my, it's Catalonia all over again. Oh my life. It's Catalonia all over again for Rossi. Control of the race, and he runs into problem. Well, in Catalonia, he went off the track with two laps to go, but we have, it was four laps to go now, and he has a problem, and he rejoins in 11th outside the point. That's Paul Marcello in the point. And what's happened to Newgarden? What's happened to Newgarden? Why is he down to last? Why is Newgarden down to last? Has he made a mistake? I wonder if he overcooked himself again down at Ascari and he had to wait. My oh my, things are developing towards the end of this race. And my, Rossi. Oh my, I bet he's heartbroken in the cockpit right now. So now this battle is for second place. Evans around the Iskari chicane. And well, he's going to really do his championship really well indeed. He's going to boost it. He had a bad race yesterday, but he'll get back in the championship hunt. Of course, he won't take the lead, of course. But it's going to put him even closer. Mitch Evans wins the sprint race here in Monza. Congratulations to him and the Moe Joyce Racing Genius team. Alex Lynn, for now, is going to cross the line in second. But he is under investigation, of course, for that crash with Van Dorn and Rahal. Madison crosses the line third. Gasly is going to cross the line fourth. Leclerc is going to cross the line in fifth. So more points for him. Marcello finally back in the point in sick. Fantai finally add to the 18 points after a no point drought. Palmer 7 might be points if Lynn so I happen to Lynn. Daly 8th. Master Shit and ninth. Rossi disappointing 10th. Could have won today but the electrical problem halted him. Yelly 11th. Di Salvestro 12th. Rosia 13th in the end there. Daniel Apps brilliant 14th for him. Signs 15th. Drop back after that. Stevens Crossing the line, 16th. Howie Anto only made it back to 17th. Lima, 18th. And Newgarden, after mysteriously dropping back, may have gone off at Iskari. Drops to finish his 19th. But Evans boosts his championship and wins the sprint race. Good on him there. So, after a while, a crazy sprint race, you must say.
here is the results after the sprint race. Mitch Evans won the race with Lane in second place. It is Kevin Magnus in third with Pierre Gasly in fourth position with uh, Charles Leclerc fifth, Raffaele Marcello in sixth, Jolien Palmer seventh, then it's Connor Daly eighth, Nobuharo Mashisha to ninth, Alex and Rossi tenth, Nick Yelly eleventh, Simone Di Silvestro twelfth, Louis Rozier thirteenth, with Daniel Apt in fourteenth position. And as we scroll down to the rest of the field, it's Carlos Sainz Jr. fifteenth, with Will Stevens in sixteenth, Rio Hayanto seventeenth. Uh, Fabio Lima 18th and Joseph Newgarden in 19th position. The retirements were Luca Giotto, Stoffel Van Dorn and Graham Rahal indeed. They'll be hoping that um, Lynn gets punished after being caught up in that crash on the first lap.